Welcome and thank you for joining us today. I'm Chris Neff, the president of Boston Whaler. I'm here to introduce to you the latest addition to the Boston Whaler portfolio, the all new 360 Outrage. Now this boat was designed from the keel up to maximize space and functionality while delivering on the performance, durability, safety, and comfort you'd come to expect from Boston Whaler. And to do this, we've leveraged the latest in cutting edge technology from Mercury Marine's V12 600 horsepower outboards to the latest in controls and electronics from Mercury Marine Simrad to the Fathom e-Power System. This is a lithium ion based power system that completely eliminates the need for a generator on board. I've also brought along some members of our design and engineering team to share with you some of the details of this boat and why we believe it's going to set a new standard for excellence in the marketplace. But before I do that, let me introduce to you the premier launch video for the 360 Outrage. Take a look. in more detail what makes this 360 Outrage so special. And to do that, I've enlisted some members of our design and engineering team. I've got John Barbier, our design manager with us. I've got Chris Wahusky, our director of program management, and Chad White, the lead engineer for the 360 Outrage. So now I'm gonna turn it over to John, who's gonna talk a little bit about the consumer research behind this 360 Outrage. John. Great, thanks Chris. Hi guys, I'm John. I get to be the design manager for Boston Whaler. Uh, what that means, I'm part of a a uh, very talented team of designers that uh, work uh, with customers just like you. So what that means is we go out into the field, we interview customers, try and understand how they use their boat, uh, things they like, they don't like, but most importantly, what does the boat mean to them? We take all those ideas back into the design office. You may have seen a lot of the sketches we've done uh, and 3D models that we build that eventually get turned into full-scale mock-ups of boats just like this. Through that, we try and work through some of the great uh, innovations that the team comes up with. Things like aft entry into the upper station that you're seeing here, aft facing seat at the leaning post, and some of the interior and dash innovations that Chris will show you here momentarily. Now, part of the, the one of the very important parts of developing a boat is going from design, from the idea, from the concept, to reality as we transition from design to engineering. And to do that, we rely on very, very smart people, just like Chad White here, that helps us work through those ideas and turn them into the boat that you're seeing here today. Thank you, John, that's correct. So when John says that there's a transition from design to engineering, it's not a true cutoff, it's more we work hand in hand through the entire design process going back and forth. And so one of the engineering challenges that came out on this particular boat was the um, hard top, the voice of the customer said we needed more coverage of the hard top. We had a smaller hard top on the model that this is replacing. So we maximized the size of this using as much FEA analysis as we could to uh, maintain our own internal engineering standards for deflection and for you know frequency vibration. 
And so a lot of analysis went into it, creating this robust frame with this, as John pointed out, the aft access, which by the way is to ABYC standards as well, which we design our boats to. Another uh, challenge for this particular model was these V12s from Mercury. These things are 600 horsepower each, and we specifically designed this transom for these engines. Uh, we did a lot of FEA once again on this and tweaked it, tweaked it to make sure we would have no problems with these uh, engines because with great power comes great torque and uh, stress loads on the back of the boat. Uh, to validate these designs, we also did 150 hours of offshore testing in sea conditions ranging from four to six to eight feet at, you know, five to six second intervals, which most uh, customers probably find non-ideal for boating. But in our engineering, that's ideal for testing a boat. Uh, another neat thing that you see, uh, we saw some, we saw three right whales the last time we took this out. And so it's pretty neat to, you know, go out on a whaler and do some whale watching. And so to hand it off to Chris, he's the glue that holds us all together, the program director, Chris. Uh, good morning. Give you a little background on our side of things. So John gave you the uh, understanding of how we go from concept. My role is to make it so that we take the concept desires and make sure that we follow it all the way through with development, all the way into production. So we, we continue to work with production on making sure the integration is right. Some of the key things that he pointed out in the back of the boat, um, giant live well, this boat is set up so that you can fish it or entertain. If you do prep work, you can flip this out, turns into entertainment center, or you can do all your prep with it. Lots of storage underneath the seats, giant live well, insulated fish boxes in the floor. So it's really geared towards having a very simplistic boat, or you could option it up to, to be full fish or lots of entertaining. This one has the aft shade in the back. Um, moving forward, you can see we have a nice three wide helm seat, dual 19 inch displays, um, working with our partner, Red. We've gone through and developed our own user interface so that we could really simplify the boating experience. Come forward a little bit. I can show you some of the cabin features that John had mentioned. So one of the key elements was trying to come up with a cabin that both you could sleep or use it for utility side of things. So if you look inside here, there's rod holder storage, toilet, vanity, everything, and then huge area for, for moving around. John will demonstrate how you could convert this into a bed. That drops down, nice five inch mattress, got plenty of room. If you wanna use that forward area for storage, not sleeping, you just flip it back up, everything stays secure on the inside. And you can see there's plenty of headroom in here. Coming forward, <clears throat> great big lounge, lots of hanging out, laying around that you wanna do the flip up backrests over here for the front area. But one of the key things that came out of the, the feedback from the consumers too was the ability to walk up to the bow completely, whether you're fishing or you're trying to get access to the anchor. So what we did is we removed the normal seat that would have been there and it's now a removable uh, cushion and support. You can also get a, a, a bow table up in here. So there's a hole in there that where the post would go and then it stores with easy access storage right close by, nice teak table in here put your dock lines, bucket storage, everything all, all engineered so that it's gonna stay put. Nice fish box forward, and then side pockets with stereo system, lots of details up here for a, a rock and sound system on this boat. One of the things that I'd like to point out too is on the top of this boat, we have our upper station. So I'm gonna let Chris do a handoff and show you up there. All right, thanks again for joining us today. If you like what you saw today, please come visit us at the Miami International Boat Show, February 16th through 20th, or please visit us at bostonwhaler.com. Thanks and see you soon.